I just know you're going to love the guests that we have on in this episode. So don't go away. Welcome to another episode of The Interview. I'm Dr. Rick Wodge, and we have some good friends of Israel TV Network, and that is Michael and Stacy McIntyre. Hi, Hello. Everybody. Hey, guys. <coughs> Excuse Thank me. You Thank you for having us. Yeah, we're excited Thank to be here. Thank you for being here. Now, yes. this is your first time on the set <laughs> yes. at Israel TV Network. Yes, so, yes. So let's uh, talk about you and what you guys do. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, start? <laughs> well, excuse me. Uh, Stacy and I have been married for 34 years. Okay. Uh, we have three adult daughters and two grandchildren, which is great. Now, 34 years, was that your choice or hers? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. Everybody's a comedian today. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, yeah, so we, you know, Stacy's always known God and Jesus, and she's always kind of ran with Jesus, and uh, I was kind of late to the game. And so we got married, uh, and then uh, business happened. We did really well in business. We started a business. We started an insurance business, okay. and uh, we were blessed, and we did really good, and we grew it. And from that, um, we had the, you know, we got a lot of favor, and I didn't even know what that was. I had no idea, and so we had a lot of good favor through that over the years. And after 30 years, we sold the company in 2007. And right about that time, I had my Damascus moment, and so I gave my life to Jesus, and we became, I, we, a whole family got involved and became Christian, and uh, which they already were, but but you were leading the family. I was leading the family finally, yes, yes. and so biblically, and so it was really good. Um, and then, like we were sharing earlier, and then God just showed us a bunch of favor because I didn't know anything. I didn't know who all these people were, the, the charismatic or the evangelicals, and I just didn't know. But God put me in front of these people. Like I was telling you earlier, I'm sitting at a table at this billionaire round table, and I'm looking over here, and this guy's got this funny German name. I said, who are you, man? Reinhard Bunke. How do you, you know, where are you from, you know? And so it's like, and then I tell my friends, that goes, Reinhard Bunke, he's a famous guy. Yeah, I didn't know. He's brought you know, 100 million people to Christ. You know, it's a big deal. So it was always that way, Rick. And so through that, uh, we kind of went on this journey. And next thing you know, I'm CEO of a charismatic church. <laughs> <laughs> and God's amazing. And so then, then that's how we got started in this training that we yes. do in this next level experience. And we took their staff through the training. We had done it in the secular world for many years in with our company, yeah. but we started taking the worship team, the staff, and the pastor came up to Mike in the middle of a break because we were just really peeling the onion and going deep with people and letting them know who they are in God. Like, really waking them up again to yeah. who God, when you're born, he says, I love you. And then you, you forget. And so That's we good. get to learn again who we are. And so the, the yeah. pastor said, you, so this is amazing. This is, this is revolutionary. Cause what we did is we took all the things that we learned in the secular world <clears throat> and how to motivate people, kind of peel the onion, do a little heart surgery and really get their identity. And so we, we brought the Holy spirit in. So when I gave my life to Jesus and our whole family started walking with that, <clears throat> we had, we, again, God just kept putting us in the front row in these places. And so we're at this church deal and I'm the CEO of this, this church. And, uh, which is, you know, which the over and unders in heaven. We're so, you know, <laughs> having a problem with, cause it was unexpected. And so we're doing this. And, uh, so we have this three day retreat off site. And, you know, there's some, there were some snowflakes involved, you know, some of these young millennials, you know, in a charismatic church, you know, they love to soak all day, not too much want to sweep. <laughs> so, so we kind of, we, we kind of went at them a little bit with, with some, with some, you know, Holy Spirit fire. And, uh, and afterward, cause we were kind of nervous. Stacy was kind of nervous. Yes. I ain't going to be able to handle this. And I said, listen, we're going to just let the Holy Spirit handle this. And so afterwards, the pastor came up and said, McIntyre. This is revolutionary," he said. "You got to take this thing wide," and so that's what we did. We started. And this was like five years ago. Okay, you've got to give me a website. Yes, yeah, <laughs> something. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's called. People uh, are going to send up smoke signals. Like, how do we, what how is do we reach this? these folks? Yeah, yeah. It, it's uh, well. There's NLE begins.com, which stands for Next Level Experience Begins.com. Okay. NLE 
begins.com. And uh, they can also go to michaelpmcintyre.com and check us yeah. out there. But the other one's easier. Yes, yes. I, yeah, yes. I know. I, I, yeah. Pointing that out. Amen. Yes. And so that's good. So, I, so that's how it all started. And then from that, <clears throat> so we started talking, you know, uh, next thing I know, I got, you know, Sean Bowles is, you know, spending the night at our house, you know, I, you know, who's Sean Bowles? And all of a sudden this guy shows up and everybody's like, hey man, you need to get a word. I said, what do you mean? Well, he's really a prophetic guy. And so, and then Danny Silk. So God just keeps putting us in touch with these people. And not, I, not even trying. Not even trying. And so uh, <clears throat> from that, this next level experience was born. And uh, we came out to West Texas out here and we got to meet some amazing people. And they did a, they did a whole training. So I guess it was about two and a half, three years mm -hmm. ago. Uh, and, you know, Panhandle West Texas people are just amazing. I mean, they just They're are. They're family that you just didn't know you had. Exactly. Salt at the what a great way to. It's really yeah. Nice. so true. Yeah. Now, let, let, me, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Okay. First off, where are you from? I'm from Dallas. Okay. I'm originally from Michigan. Okay. I've heard of both of those places. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is good. Yes. Good, good, good. Yeah. Okay. So if you're, uh, not you, but let's take a person out of the blue, pull them out of the crowd, and they're a person who doesn't believe in God. Mm -hmm. Do they believe that when you throw an apple up, the apple's going to hit the ground unless there's some form of intervention? Yeah. Okay. Newton. That's so right. Gravity. Okay. That's right. So whether you're a believer in God or not a believer in God, there are truths that mm -hmm. are unmistakable. That's right. Yes. And so what you have done, at least in part, is capitalize on, hey, these are truths mm -hmm. of how to help people in an entrepreneurial way That's yes. right. uh, to be able to move forward in their experience with God. And I would just say, amen. I mean, yeah. you know, and I think oftentimes we spiritualize so much, mm -hmm. we forget yeah. that amen. there's just... Yeah. Things that work. That's and the right. reason they work is they're universal truths. It's true. You know, what, what we say is rocks are hard and water's wet. You know. I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I have experienced I had a Holy Spirit experience with yes. it. I just want yes. you to know. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And it's so true. And you know, and you know, and so what you know, a lot of times people come to the next level experience thinking it's a hospital and it's not, it's not a hospital. It's for people whose lives are basically working, working but they're stuck. You know, they gave their life to uh, Christ. They're, they're saved. They're born again. They're all in. Uh, and it's great, but they want to go to something better. You know, they want to get a better career. They want to start a new business. They want to improve on their relationship with Jesus, uh, with the Holy spirit, with their wife or husband. Maybe they want to just, uh, get get free of some of some things, or maybe they just forgot who they are. You know, yeah. in Sam in Samuel one, uh, uh, you know, you know Samuel uh, Samuel comes to Saul and says, "Listen, you're going to be king of Israel." And Saul's like, "Hey, man, I just came from you know, I got no, I'm nobody. I got the smallest tribe in Israel. Why would I be king?" So no, you're going to be king. And then in uh, Samuel uh, ten twenty two, I think it is, he's ready for the anointing. And Saul doesn't know who he is. And so he, you know, everybody's like, where's Saul? We're going to anoint this guy. And God says, he's hanging out in the luggage compartment. You know, he's hiding because because he didn't see himself rightly. Yes. And he, even though that he was anointed and God chose him and God knew who he was, but he didn't see himself rightly. And so a lot, and then look what happened. He ended up committing suicide at the end of his reign. And so what we do is we make sure people get to see themselves mm -hmm. rightly in the eyes of God, because God knows who you are. Mm -hmm. The enemy knows who you are. And sometimes we forget who we are. Mm -hmm. And so we work, the, it's a three day intensive. It's, it's intensive. It's fun. It's hard. It's not for snowflakes. And if you, if you're, if you don't like to be offended, don't apply. <laughs> Because it's Good. it's gonna it, it puts people's lives on a trajectory like they've never seen before, and it's three days of intensive, and they come out a changed individual mm -hmm. how God originally designed them. I love it. I love <laughs> the sound of it. You know, we just finished a big project on Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Yes. Right. Okay. You guys looked at the DVD. Yeah. Right? Awesome. Well, one of the great quotes from Dietrich Bonhoeffer is when Christ calls a man. Christ calls a man to die. Yes. Amen. And so there's the sense That's in good. which if we don't get who we are, and if we don't understand our purpose, and if we don't understand our destiny and what all this is about, we'll never become the person that God has destined us to be. Come on. Exactly. That's so good. You, right? you, you said you it said in such a succinct, yeah. I mean, that is, that is great it. way. Uh, yeah. I studied with the monks in monasteries for years. And uh, one of the things that I learned in that 
sounds very similar to what you're saying, and that is when we're making decisions in life, every decision is not based upon whether it's easy or hard. Every decision is based on one thing. Will it draw me closer to God? That's good. That's it. That's, That's how really we make good. decisions. That's awesome. That's, That's so it. good. That's so, so easy. Good. Yeah. So simple. Yeah. It's that way. And because I, yeah. God has a destiny for it. That's right. Yes. And so and you know, sometimes we can in the charismatic world just over spiritualize everything. Mm -hmm. Right. And right. so, you know, what we want to do, and we love the Holy Spirit. We we get into these the next level experience and we have a curriculum. But sometimes the Holy Spirit hijacks that and just takes it. We just let it run, you know, yeah. which is a, it, it is so good. But what you're saying is, is so spot on because we want people to, to reach into where they originally were formed. And they know. It's just that we get we get caught we up forget. in we get caught up in the media, we get caught up in politics, we get caught up in money, we get caught up in comparison spirit. Absolutely. You know, the enemy loves to play the card fear man. Uh, rejection and the comparison spirit. Yes. I mean, it's the big three, mm -hmm. and he plays those cards all the time. And sometimes it's generational, as you know. Right. And so, what we want to do is we want to cut that off. And it's it's kind well. Of the cool. other thing that we've been seeing a lot is the orphan spirit. Yeah, that we see on people a lot. And so that is something that once that goes, people are free. So it's it's about freedom for people. It really is. One of the things I learned in um, clinical counseling was that uh, the way God has designed us and the way we're living, depending on how far apart those two are, is the amount of stress we have in our lives. Mm. Good. So the more we live according to the way God designed us, yep. so the less good. stress we have, the more we're following that. That's it. Remember the Mormon trail? Everybody, yeah. You know, everybody yeah. in America knows the yeah. Mormon trail. Right. Right. You can still see a hint of the Mormon trail, That's right? right? Mm -hmm. Where they travel. Well, the idea there is, is that your personality, your inborn temperament that God designed within you, mm -hmm. the closer it goes within that easy place to travel, mm -hmm. okay, the good. less stress you're going to have That's in your right. life and the more you're going to fulfill your purpose. That's so good. The more you follow You get the, it. You get it. <laughs> we're using different words. <laughs> yeah. It's exactly, exactly the same, exactly the same it's thing. But it's so important yeah. that people get the, and you know, it's like you know, we were talking yesterday at the Kingdom Conference, you know, what we like to do at Next Level is get people out of their comfort zone. Because we all get, you know, I mean, you know, Stacey and I have been married 34 years and we get comfortable sometimes <laughs> in our routines. And it's okay to have certain comfort traditionals, tradition things. Uh, but we, we also find that people who want to have a breakthrough, when, when they get into that discomfort or when they're uncomfortable, on the other side of that lies their biggest breakthrough. So then the gap. Then when the gap. The when gap. they step into well, it the gap. it sounds like they're no longer watching for the incredible. Yeah. They're no longer watching for something outside of the norm. Yeah. Right. And they often miss God in there. Yeah. That's right. Yes. It's so true. And because, you know, a lot of a lot of the millennials we coach too, they say, Hey, you know, uh we, we want to uh uh we want we wanna wait for God to move. And I always say, Really? You know, sometimes maybe God wants you to move first. You know, because sometimes we want to, you know, again, they like to sit around and soak, you know, and pray, which is awesome, which is really good. But God also wants you to get up and move because it's... He created us in Christ Jesus for good works. Come on. Okay, so we're Christians and we know that works is a bad word, so <laughs> let's use action. He created us for action. That's right. Yeah, That's yeah. Exactly. He did. He did. Not it's, to sit in the back pew. Exactly. Right. To get up and change the world. Exactly. You know, That's right. one of the... That's right. We're Israel TV now. Right. Yeah. So we are getting this whole Jewish mindset. Mm -hmm. We're inundating ourselves within this ancient uh, biblical mm. set of principles. And in that, Christians normally ask the question, are you saved? That's right. That's right. Jews <laughs> ask the question, have you redeemed the world? Mm -hmm. Come on. That's awesome. It's about making change. Mm -hmm. And you're a part of it. So I think yeah, I think fun. that we you know you're not interviewing me sorry but <laughs> that's okay we I can just, start <laughs> I just think that if we're not looking for what can we do and where is yeah. God moving and join Him in that personally mm -hmm. not for the whole mass but how does He want me to be a part of the mass uh, then we're going to miss what God is doing and you said something you said you know. I'm just waiting for God to move. You were yeah. talking about somebody else. Yes, that's right. He's moving all the time. All the yes. time. Uh, look at the planets. Look Get at up. the flowers. That's God right. is working. Constantly. His creative activity is going on that's all right. around you. 
do you not want to be a part of it? Come on, Rick. That's so good. It's so true. Anyway, thanks for having me. Yeah. Anytime. Same time next week. Yes. No, I, I, you know, in the Jewish community, we, you know, yesterday Sean was talking about how the Jewish community, the Jewish people are so blessed. And even though they're like 3% of this population in the country, they control so much because God has blessed them so well. And it's amazing to see all that. And so when we heard about you, you wanting to talk to us on Israel TV, it was like, we were so excited to be here. And did, so, did Mike tell you that I wanted to talk to you? Yes. <laughs> 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 He's a I'm salesperson, kidding, right? Kidding, kidding. <laughs> no, it's all right. But we're honored to be here. And I think... Uh, and we have a lot of Messianic friends too mm -hmm. that are that are just amazing people and just got back from Israel and and we just think God is moving in all these communities and all these different tribes and it's just it's really fun to watch and being watch on the and front bring row. everybody together yeah, yeah uh, there true. was a movement a few years back hopefully it's still going it's called the Renovare movement okay and it's a French term that means change and uh, uh, you know in this movement the idea was is that God is working with every group, and each group has a, has a strength. Mm -hmm. They have weaknesses, too. Mm -hmm. But when they, we all bring our strengths together, that is that whole person That's good. that God meant us to be in working together. And, of course, we all know part of the problem today is there's so much, and diversity is good, but when it's diversity that causes a lack of division, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then we have a problem. We do. Mm -hmm. Boy, do we have a problem in the country today. But I don't know yeah. that it's any greater than the problem we have in the church. Yeah. So good. It's so good. You know, it's funny because Stacy and I, you know, me coming to Jesus so late in my life and, and giving my life to the Lord, I because I've got a lot of evangelical friends, and now we've got a lot of charismatic friends. And it's funny the division. So what am I? How are you categorizing? <laughs> I don't know yet. You're, you're placing me in a box. And as soon as you leave, you're going to go, Mike. He's a. Rick I is, want to know what that box is. is. Well, you knew. Who, dot, dot, dot. Well, you knew who Reinhardt Bunky was. So I think. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, kind of, yeah. and you probably know who Heidi Baker is. And yeah, so. and and Reinhardt is a great name. I yeah, don't have a name like that. I mean, when they first, when I first met him, I thought that can't be your name, bro. You were Prince. <laughs> I mean, you were yeah. King. Yes. And he was so generous and so so humble, and it was really nice, but. But there's always been, there. it seems to be a wall in the church with the evangelicals and the charismatic. And yeah, you know, the charismatic will look over the evangelical wall and see what's going on. But the evangelicals don't generally come over to the charismatic wall. And I think it would be nice if that wall was taken down. I think these are the strengths that the Renovare movement has depicted within yeah. each group. Mm -hmm. Some are real strong in worship. Some are strong in prayer. Mm -hmm. Some are strong in study. Some are strong, you know, pick it out. Right. Yes. All these spokes yeah. in the wheel, but yep. they forget that they're held together exactly. by the Spirit of God. Yes. Yes. And we're all part of the body of Christ. Yes. yes. And so it takes all kinds of different yes. different people and different aspects, you know. And so it's exciting for me to learn, you know, because, you know, when I first came in, people, I was at a church in Dallas and it was great and we loved it and I enjoyed it. And then somebody says, hey, McIntyre, you know, that church, they don't believe in the gifts. I said, well, that's funny. They cash my gift every week. <laughs> I don't know when they don't believe it. But I didn't understand that. I was a baby Christian at the time, and I didn't understand. But as I'm growing and learning in this, it, but the, the thing is, if we all know that you know Jesus is Lord, he climbed, climbed up on that cross, he died for our sins, we are forgiven. And when we repent, we are forgiven. Uh, we can all be part of the same team. <laughs> And I think that's, we're I think that you, we're all brothers and sisters. And I think that, you know, and then with our Masonic friends and, and everybody coming in, it's just, it's really, it can be an amazing experience. You know, if everybody got on the same deal instead of having the divisions, you know, yes. within the church. And find that we can learn from each other. Yes. Totally. There's yeah. something you have gone through, something you've seen in scripture, I haven't seen. Mm -hmm. And if I disavow you because we have a difference of opinion, I've limited my well to be able to draw from. Totally. It's good. That's it's really good. True. And so, you know. I write books. <laughs> I get <laughs> that. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, amazing. It's so good, Rick. But, you know, Stacey and I, we're, uh, you know, we have some married couples that come through this. Why don't you share with them, with the audience about the different marriage and how they do it and some of it, you know. Some people come through together yes. and some people go on their own. Okay. But what we've seen is a lot of books written out of this, mm -hmm. a lot of people getting married, mm -hmm. a lot of people uh, healing their marriages, mm -hmm. 
relationships, things like that, that we are so encouraged by. And that's what keeps us doing it. Right. Uh, you know, it's just hard. to see, yeah, to see the results. It's it, it, it is really hard, but God has called us to this. And sometimes we quit. Sometimes we say we're not going to do this anymore. Wow. But but he always brings us back in. Okay, this is your purpose. This is what you're meant to be doing right now. Right. So yeah. it's awesome. exciting. Yeah. Years ago, I had a four-wheel drive, and we were way out in the Mojave Desert. And a local guy in a mining community said, you know, you ought to go see this place called Schmidt's Tunnel. Schmidt's Tunnel. <laughs> 13 telephone poles down, go, you hung the mountain, you go around. About two hours later, you get so way out in the middle of nowhere in deep sand. I finally found this place, Schmidt's Tunnel. Little nun ran it. She said, here's a flashlight, have fun. You go to this tunnel. And it goes all the way through a mountain. Sometimes you have to stoop. You go down, you get to the other side. Here's the story. A guy owned the map, this whole area, and he was mining it. And he thought, you know, I can get to my claim a lot faster if I put a hole through that mountain. 30 years later, he had forgotten why he, he even started digging. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's awesome. That's good. Yeah. That's what happened. You can use it. Yeah, yeah, thank good. you, thank you. And, and the way you do it is you say, you know, I've heard the story of Schmidt's Tunnel. Mm -hmm. The second time you tell it, you say, you know, I've always known about this place called Schmidt's Tunnel. <laughs> That's so good. I'm going to tell you my That's experience so with Schmidt's Tunnel. That's so good. It's so <laughs> true. I mean, you know, there's spiritual warfare. You know, our, our brother Mike always taught, you know, he's our intercessor and he helps us out. And, and he said, listen, some of this stuff comes at us. And, and, we, and the first time we ever did this for the church, we were going out to East Texas. And we got in the biggest argument. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, you know, and over the years, Let you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and our daughter had a wreck that day. She well, did. Did it ever get settled? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Always, oh, yeah. Always. Oh, yeah. Always. Oh, yeah. It always gets settled. We always settle but, 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 but it. That's but, in, all that but inside that storm, man, it's like, oh, man, I'm not going to do this again. Yeah. You know. And then all of a sudden, like, <clears throat> this week we had a lot of stuff. And then. Yesterday morning, we wake up and this inner, this email comes over about this person that did the uh, next level experience a few months ago and just just changed their life. And then we yesterday we saw a couple of friends here at the conference that yes. did it, and they just kept saying it's all it's just good, and it's just God saying, "Hey, you're doing okay, right. yeah. and you're doing the right thing." We know it's hard. We know it. You know. It, you, you know. He, you, he knows. He knows. And what a difference between your ministry and Jeremiah's. Yeah. It's going to fail. It's going to be horrible. <laughs> You're going to hate it. Go and do it anyway. Do it. Do <laughs> it. Yeah, it's so true. Yeah. And, and But it's it. we do get life out of it. We spend two pounds of flesh on three days that we do this. But it's and then we come out and we go into a holy coma for about a week. <laughs> and, and two then, of our daughters um, facilitate, facilitate with, us. with us. One of them is our COO. Yeah. And so yeah, it's uh, really cool. she, she wow. just turned 28. And she loves this work as well. So we feel that this can go on beyond yes. us. Because, you know, so. at some point we're going to want to hang out, you know, <laughs> right. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really Sucking good. down non-alcoholic drinks. That's Amen. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Virgin That's pina right. coladas. Of yeah. course. <laughs> yeah. So we're wow. we're excited. We you know next level. We don't know yet. We you know we feel that Brazil and Singapore is calling us out. Okay. Uh, we don't know that, but uh, we just feel it in the spirit. And so uh, we also want to get to where we want to bring other people in. And and right now we do small. Uh, experiences, but we want to get it to where it's, we have 250 to 500 people okay. in a setting, mm -hmm. and we have the we have a lot. We we've, we've trained about 2,000 people since in the last five years, and so we've got a lot of people that want to facilitate mm -hmm. because once they go through the experience, then they want to come to the other side yeah. and be in service to other. They're people. They're salesmen. Yes, and they are not trying to be. They just yes, are. That's right, and they would get it. And they like to come up under un, under people because the experience was generally so profound for them. It's kind of like going to see a great movie or going to a great restaurant. You want to share that experience with people. And I want you to share that experience. So give us your website once again. Yes, thank you. Okay. It's nlebegins.com. N-L-E-Begins.com. It's really easy. And if you were to buy Midnight tonight, we'll throw in a food stamp <laughs> <laughs> these two nights. We'll throw in steak knives, right? <laughs> Amen. That's good. That's good. No, it's exciting. And uh, So what's next? Wow. Well, we've got uh, Dallas is coming up here uh, really next soon. Weekend. Next weekend. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we've got another Dallas in September. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we're just seeing what God wants us to do. We kind of hold loosely, you know, and whatever. Well, I he think wants, we'll be you know. back up here in November. November, we'll be in yeah. West Texas in, West in November. Yes. Yeah. Why don't you come back in? Let's talk about how the experience went or how it's about to go. Yes, sure. absolutely. We'd yeah. love to. And I think I think Mike says he's going to have four or 500 people at this next level. 
Bible to wow. me, which I think I believe it. Everything yeah. he says, I comes true. 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 It's, it's true. It's true. It's gospel. All of Amarillo will be. Yeah, that's right. It's all, it's all Canyon. Canyon. Yeah. Yeah. And if not, hold him to it. That's, that's it. Right. That's, that's right. right. He He's strong. He can he's do it. He's got big shoulders. He, shoulder. he, does. Yes. he does. Yes. So what's, tell us what's coming up next for, uh, for Israel TV. Okay, Israel TV Network, uh, we're producing these big events. We're pushing the Bonhoeffer DVD. We think the message in the Don, uh, Bonhoeffer DVD series is so essential right now before the 2020 elections. Mm -hmm. So good. We think it's radically important I like for that. everybody to understand these are crucial times for the outcome and the future of America. Yes. And that everyone needs to do their part, good. not just kick back and go, oh, you know, I don't make a difference. Or that yes. it should be taken care of. It yeah. needs, you, that's they, right. need to take, take a stand. <laughs> take that's a civic right. responsibility. Yes. Right there. Amen. So that's, that's a big thing for us. That's good. Uh, there's a trip coming in Egypt where some filming is going to take place. Uh, we have another series that we're going to be doing very quickly. We always have people coming in, mm -hmm. which is a very good thing. And I, I'm going to say, you have been too, and I, I mean this. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing interviews for a lot of years with a lot of folks. You are two of the most delightful people, oh, wow. honestly, I've ever had. It wow, wow. Well, you yeah, shine, I, I, you're bright, you talk, oh, thank you, you move. You make move. <laughs> you move. It's, really, it's really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> you have somebody I can bounce things off of. You know, uh, I like it. Well, that's, well, that's very kind of you. We're yeah. just honored to be here. We are. And since you sought us out, like Mike said. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, oh, God. I got to have him. Could you even use Mike? <laughs> Please. Mike. Yeah. What is it? We're very impressed with what you're doing here. It is, yes. It's really it's really encouraging. And I like your studio. And it's really neat the way it's all set up. And so we're just humbled to be here. And we're grateful to talk about Next yes. Level Experience. Yep. and. And get it out to more people, and and you know, uh, it's amazing. We had people come from all over the world. We had people come in from Canada, and from Ireland, and from yes. uh, the UK, and so, you know, Dallas is an easy place to get to. And we're open to going other places. So yeah, right. we're invited in Tahiti. Yes, Tahiti. we'll be there. We will be there. Tahiti. Why not? On Why not? Right. On the heat. That's right. Tahiti too. That's right. Yes. Fiji, Those Tahiti, Tahitians. Yes. 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 so bad. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you, Ray. You. Thank you. And, and, you know, thank you for always being a great viewer of Israel TV Network and the interview. Uh, we love doing these shows for you. We hope that it's expanding your understanding of what you can do, what God has called you to do, and how you can change the world. Until next time, shalom, shalom.